This is a squish comparison between the XO Flow Cup, which is a one size cup right now, and the Diva Cup in a size large. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great week so far. Um, so this is a requested comparison by Danielle. Thank you for sending in your request. I know that you wanted uh, a comparison between the XO Flow Cup and the Small Diva Cup, but I only had the Small Diva Cup on loan for a little while and it's gone back to its owner. Uh, so this is the best I can do for now. Um, the Diva Cups are the same length between the small and the large. It's the diameters that are a little bit different. Uh, so I'm going to still go ahead and do this comparison just in case it helps you. If not, I hope it helps somebody else. Um, so I'm going to place both of these cups in the palms of my hands, give them a squish, swap hands, give them a squish again, and then compare the rims. So since these two cups are a different shape, um, as I said in one of my other videos doing the XO Flow Cup, I'm going to place the Diva Cup on the X of the XO Flow Cup. And so the cups aren't going to look even when I actually put them to each other. Um, I'm going to try to get it in, the, in this area um, below the secondary rim and the base of the cup. So I'm just trying to get this the body of uh, the Diva cup to be placed on the X of the XO. So uh, when I compare the rims, I'll move the Diva cup back up. So here is the inside of the XO Flow cup and inside of the Diva cup. Line up that X onto the body, and here is the Diva Cup and the XO Cup. And just the rims. And that was the XO Flow Cup in a one size cup and the Diva Cup in a size large.